The Mystery of the Crystal Fortress Chapter 1 The Enigmatic Map The study room of Anaya was illuminated by the warm light of the morning sun, which also revealed the fine features of the enigmatic letter she was holding in her hands. An unearthly energy emanated from the parchment, which was covered in symbols that looked like constellations. From the scribbled lines came an old and inviting whisper. Anaya's loyal companion, Sherlock, a canine detective with keen instincts, sensed the urgency in his owner's demeanor. His sharp eyes focused on the symbols, mirroring Anaya's curiosity. The letter spoke of a crystal citadel, a marvel lost to time, awaiting rediscovery. Intrigued, Anaya reached for an old map tucked away in her collection of artifacts. As she unfolded the aged parchment, a labyrinth of lines revealed itself, a cartographic enigma concealing the secrets of the Crystal Citadel's disappearance. Each contour seemed to tell a tale, an invitation to embark on a quest through enchanted lands and mystical realms. Sherlock, sensing the magnitude of the journey ahead, wiped his tail in eager anticipation. Anaya's study transformed into a command center, the air charged with a palpable excitement. The map, a gateway to the unknown, spread across the table like a promise waiting to be fulfilled. With her detective lenses in place and Sherlock at her side, Anaya traced the intricate pathways that led to the heart of the vanished realm. The room buzzed with an unspoken understanding, the journey into the unknown had begun. The crystal citadel, shrouded in mystery, awaited its rediscovery, and Anaya and Sherlock, bound by the call of adventure, stood ready to unravel the enigma that lay ahead. With each step, the map pulsed with the energy of anticipation, and the duo embraced the unfolding tale that would lead them into the realms of magic and legend. Chapter 2 Whispers in the Enchanted Woods The journey into the enchanted woods began with a rustle of leaves, a symphony of nature welcoming Anaya and Sherlock into a realm where magic and reality coexisted. The map guided them through ancient groves, where trees stood as sentinels with branches that seemed to reach for the skies. Sunlight filtered through the foliage, casting dappled shadows on the moss-covered ground. As they advanced, the woods seemed alive with whispers, a chorus of ancient voices sharing tales of bygone eras. Unseen creatures observed the duo's progress, their eyes glinting with curiosity. Sherlock, attuned to the subtleties of nature, recognized the harmonious dance between the mystical and the tangible. Puzzles intertwined with the very fabric of the forest awaited their arrival. Each step became a dance with the unseen, and every puzzle solved revealed a deeper layer of the wood's ancient magic. Anaya's detective lenses glowed with an ethereal light, unveiling hidden passages and clues etched into the bark of ancient trees. Sherlock's keen senses detected the faintest traces of enchantment, guiding them through a labyrinth of mystical pathways. The air vibrated with energy, and the duo felt the presence of magical beings watching over their quest. The enchanted woods, it seemed, were an ally, unfolding its secrets to those who approached with reverence and curiosity. Anaya and Sherlock stood at the edge of a grove, the map throbbing with newfound brilliance as the sun sank below the horizon, bathing the trees in moonlight. 
The murmurs became louder, announcing that the way ahead would be lit by the firefly dance and steered by the spectral hands of long-ago ghosts. The two set forth deeper into the magical forest, their resolve restored, where magic and riddles blended together to entice them to solve the mysteries that awaited them. Chapter 3 The Riddles of the Crystal Grotto The enchanted woods gave way to a concealed entrance, a portal veiled in vines and guarded by luminous butterflies. Anaya and Sherlock approached with cautious anticipation, recognizing this as the gateway to the next chapter of their quest. As they entered, the surroundings transformed into a cavern aglow with the ethereal radiance of luminescent crystals. The crystal grotto unfolded like a celestial tapestry its walls adorned with shimmering formations that seemed to sing tales of forgotten epics. The air hummed with the resonance of ancient riddles, and the duo stood at the threshold of a realm where time appeared to fold upon itself. The map shimmered, projecting a series of cryptic symbols onto the glistening walls. Anaya, ever the astute detective, deciphered the symbols as echoes of the past and glimpses into the future. Each step deeper into the grotto revealed a new riddle, a challenge crafted by the architects of time. Sherlock's senses heightened, attuned to the subtle shifts in the crystal formations that held the key to unlocking the enigma. The cavern walls seemed to pulse in response to the duo's contemplation, offering both guidance and intrigue. Anaya consulted her detective lenses, allowing her to perceive hidden patterns invisible to the naked eye. The riddles of the crystal grotto demanded a dance of intellect and intuition. As each puzzle unraveled, the crystals resonated with approval casting a kaleidoscopic display of colors that painted the cavern in a vibrant tapestry of luminescence. The map, now an animated guide, led Anaya and Sherlock through the labyrinthine passages, where each solved riddle brought them closer to the heart of the Crystal Citadel's mysteries. With every correct answer, the grotto echoed with a harmonious melody a chorus celebrating the duo's progression through the temporal labyrinth. The Crystal Grotto, a testament to the artistry of time itself, unveiled its secrets to those who approached its riddles with respect and reverence. As Anaya and Sherlock pressed forward, they understood that the true essence of the Crystal Citadel awaited them in the culmination of these enigmatic challenges. Chapter 4 The Heart of the Crystal Citadel Guided by the illuminated path within the Crystal Grotto, Anaya and Sherlock found themselves standing before a colossal gate adorned with intricate carvings. The map, now a radiant beacon, indicated that the heart of the Crystal Citadel lay just beyond. As they approached, the gate responded to their presence, unfolding with a melodic creak, revealing a breathtaking chamber bathed in the soft glow of a thousand crystalline facets. The Crystal Citadel, a testament to the craftsmanship of ancient civilizations, stood as a repository of temporal wisdom. The chamber echoed with the whispers of the past, present, and future as if time itself reverberated within its walls. Sherlock's ears twitched, attuned to the subtle hum of knowledge encapsulated in the crystalline archive. The duo ventured deeper into the heart of the citadel, where a central platform hosted an ornate pedestal. On it lay the final piece of the puzzle, 
the legendary crystal that held the key to unraveling the mysteries woven into the fabric of time. Anaya, with detective lenses aglow, examined the crystal, revealing intricate inscriptions that spoke of the citadel's purpose and its connection to the unfolding tapestry of existence. As Anaya reached for the crystal, a surge of energy enveloped the chamber, and the map transformed into a radiant holograph, projecting visions of epics long past and futures yet to unfold. The crystal citadel, a guardian of temporal truths, shared its accumulated wisdom with those who sought to unveil the secrets of time. Sherlock, ever the astute companion, sensed the profound connection between Anaya and the crystal. The duo absorbed the knowledge embedded within its facets, glimpsing the ebb and flow of time in a mesmerizing dance of patterns and possibilities. The crystal citadel, once a sanctuary shrouded in mystery, now stood open to those who approached with humility and an insatiable thirst for understanding. As Anaya and Sherlock left the Crystal Citadel, they carried with them not just the knowledge of the past, but a profound awareness of their role in shaping the narratives of the future. The enchanted woods welcomed them back, and with newfound wisdom, they embarked on the journey homeward, the echoes of the Crystal Citadel's revelations resonating in their hearts. Let your dreams be touched by the Chronicles of Enchantment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.